it's sun to fool you because um, it's been a really uh, up and down day rain sun wind um, and it's now afternoon and I really haven't got that much done um, at all but um, I had a nice week um, so you saw at the beginning there mom and I um, went to Literary Leicester and we saw Leslie Wiley speak on slow living as ecological practice and I went to another event last night with my friend from work and um, that was on environmental literature so that's been fun that's been a nice thing to do I was really annoyed that I just cut off the video as um, Leslie Wiley said that um, the person she was talking about WH Hudson would have been a real fan of no dig <laughs> so um, but oh well anyway I had hoped to get to go down and put the potatoes in and um, oh to just tidy up a bit down there and then things like that I was going to put the broad beans in so the broad beans here are um, looking excellent actually. Um, I'm hardening them off so they're out been outside for the last few days and then just going into the greenhouse at night um, they're starting to get a little bit floppy and um, so they're very much ready to go out and you can see they were sowed on the 9th of February um, but yeah they're looking like nice little plants um, but they just yeah want to get in the ground really um, but what I was trying to get to was we have a uh, really cold temperatures forecast for Sunday night I say really cold we've been having like minus eight or whatever this is just minus two um, but nevertheless I don't feel like I want to put new plants into the ground when I know there's a frost right around the corner or at least cold temperatures right around the corner so I am holding off um, and instead I want to do well I want to do the two jobs that I mentioned last weekend which is to get the strawberries on the front patch I don't know if I'm going to get that done today um, but also pot up the dahlias and because it keeps raining and it's a bit on and off out here uh, I thought that might be the first job so I have um, created some potting on compost so I did a mix here this morning and uh, as I went to do that this morning I had well, it, well I was initially quite a fright because it was unexpected um, but then was quite cute um, there was a little mouse in um, in the bucket when I went to fetch the compost that I'd made last week for the um, for the seedlings hello little butterfly oh oh I was just about to turn the camera around but it flew away butterflies are out and about uh, so butterflies are out and about but also a little mice um, so there was a little mouse in the compost and uh, it didn't, looked a bit worse for wear to be honest I don't know how long it had been falling in there and, and struggling to get out um, anyway I um, put him over at the shed and he toddled under there so I don't know if he's got much left in him but um, hopefully can find a nice little place under there to recover um, it's not the only uh, wild encounter I've had this week I was <laughs> well I was telling all my my friends and colleagues that um, it was the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life so what, when was it Thursday morning I was um, just sitting on the sofa in the living room scrolling and I'd already been outside in the garden so the back door was open See, there's that wind um, and uh, I happened to just glance over, something caught my eye, and a fox had walked into my living room. <laughs> oh, I wish I got it on camera for you. Um, <laughs> I did uh, record my initial reaction. <laughs> I sent a voice note <laughs> to my friends. Um, I was very excited. Um, but of course, um, as, soon as, I, as soon as I saw the fox, I kind of um, squealed with delight and scared it off and it ran down the garden and over the compost heap. But yeah, I mean, it had to walk through the lean-to, through the kitchen, into the living room. Very curious and uh, brave little fox. So I've been hearing them a lot at night. It seems to be that time of year again. And um, I did hear them, I think, harassing the chickens that are a few doors down the other night. But yeah, foxes, mice. What else have we had this week? A butterfly. Frogs, that's what we've had. Um, frogs in the pond. Um, so they've laid a bit more frog spawn, which is nice. Um, right, I just keep wandering up and down this garden talking to you. I should probably go and do some work. Anything to show you before we go in? This lovely daffodil. 
excuse Dory's football, which rather, oh, hello, oh, little fly. Um, I love these kind of daffodils. Gorgeous. Right, welcome inside. Um, I'll just show you my rough setup um, and then we'll get cracking. Um, table, so I'm flanked by the mini greenhouse, the propagator in which, ooh, so I can do this one handed, in which we have germination for the tomatoes. I'm a bit annoyed that the blue fire one, which is the one I'm most excited about, has done nothing yet. Oh no, there's one for the blue fire. It's the indigo pear drops that's done nothing. Mm. Anyway, it's early days. Oh. Um, and then I've got my cosmos over here. Um, found some pots that I think are about the right size. I put down this little, well, it's fairly useless, but um, should keep some of the mess at bay. I've got my compost, compost mix I made and I've got all my boxes of dahlias and other tubers. The last of the squash in there. There's five left, two butternut squash, two spaghetti and the Ute Indian. Oh, and I actually, hello Dory, come on in. Oh. Uh, I had made lunch just now and I used one of the butternut squashes and actually to make a soup and the soup was almost entirely made of my own produce which uh, is a first I think so I had uh, onions from the garden garlic sage and the butternut squash so there was a stock cube and some other spices and things and salt and pepper but other the you know the main ingredients were from my garden so um, that was lovely uh, right, Dory, we're going to pot up some dahlias. How do you feel about that? I think you're going to have to move because this would be awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Who's out there? Who's outside? Do you see anyone? Who's out there? Good girl. Right. Oh. <laughs> you go down. Right, so I sh shan't bore you with um, watching me do all of this at all. Oh, the other thing I need to do is some pricking out, actually. Mm, there's some very leggy things going on. <sighs> is it just that time of year? It just feels like there are so many jobs and work is dead busy. And, uh, oh, my goodness. <sighs> so this is one of my <laughs> saved daily tubers, but you can see it's shooting. So it's definitely ready to be potted up. Now, which one is this? Is the question. Yellow and red speckled mix. Yeah, this was a huge plan. So, um, right, that's <laughs> so actually none of these are big enough for that one. Okay, we'll put you to one side and find a bigger pot. Okay, I tell you what, I'll show you the ones that are new additions because um, all my saved ones I have gone through before with you. Um, I had Farmer Gracie order. <sighs> I bent a bit mad. Um, so uh, now, just to sort of, because uh, yeah, um, some people haven't been too pleased with their Farmer Gracie bulbs or tubers and you can kind of see why I mean <laughs> there's literally no comparison really um, but I do think there are viable bulbs on here um, although I can't see any eyes or any shooting I do think we'll have growth um, but yeah I know people had trouble with storing dahlias I say people, I mean actual suppliers. Um, some are better than others. This is, uh, so that one was tartan. This is night butterfly. Okay, so that's that one. They're all fairly small. Um, I was watching uh, Daily Farmerama on um, Instagram. And if you're growing dahlias, I highly recommend following her series. She's doing a grow along at the moment. 
and um, and that's what I'm following now. Um, she shows you how to take shoots from your tubers, so as opposed to just growing your plant from the tuber, you go from the the new shoots. Um, so I'm going to try that with like because I've got kind of three of each tuber pretty much. So I'm going to try that with at least one of the tubers, and the others I'll plant as normal just because it's kind of easier. But this one. Oh, anyway, my point being that she said, even if you've got a dahlia that looks really shriveled and as if nothing will happen to it, uh, plant it anyway, you will, you will probably be surprised. This one is creme de cassis. I don't like showing you this, it's boring. I will put the pictures of the, the plants on the screen. Uh, let's put them back in their things because I'm bound to get them mixed up and then my other farmer gracie one was cafe au lait because i don't have any cafe au lait and well, that seems like an okay tuber that one of the things is that yeah almost all of those tubers are broken from they're just holding on compare those to these ones which are just your general um garden center ones prins you know uh so this is mystery day um and but look at that tuber i mean that looks so much better and i did get some friends friends Kafka ones again that looks a lot better than any of these um i think that's all my new dahlias Actually, that's fairly restrained, I think. There are some other things in the boxes here um, that I've bought, um, like some of all things, but these are the dahlias. Right, okay, let's get potting up then. Oh, hello little spider. You stay in there. going to lightly firm down around the tubers and the stalk and because these need to probably I think the ones that I'm covering entirely and um, are being planned to grow from the tuber will go out into the greenhouse any that I'm growing for shoots will have to stay indoors um, so we'll top dress those ones with grit um, so we can try and avoid fungus gnats. Now, if I'd bought that, I would have been really disappointed, but I didn't. Uh, that was one I attempted to save, which was an Unwins, and it was yellow. Um, that will do nothing. Um, but then this one has an enormous shoot on it. So that's fine. This one, well that, I mean, that looks pretty shriveled and not that great, but I mean, that's what the Farmer Gracie ones look like. Um, so this is from my bag that's labeled miscellaneous. <laughs> Clearly um, lost track of my labeling at some point. Right, I'll pop these two up. I have to show you this one. This is um, some of my saved tubers. This is Fancy Pants. But look at the growth on that one. How strange is that? So there's like a shoot that's expected, but then look at that white. Yeah, bizarre. Oh, hello, Dory. <laughs> Someone's come to watch. Hey, baby. Dahlias. Do you like dahlias? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wink. Yeah, so that's a peculiar one. I mean, it's just, they're all, it's so many eyes. Gosh, this could be an amazing plant. These need to be cut down a bit. Where are my new snips? not to 
break the snips. Okay, let's pop this one up. Maybe this is a good one to do um, Daily Farmer Armour's shooting thing. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So a little less compost. Making a mess. Um, so when you, so all the other dahlias I've just been potting up um, to uh, plant the whole tuber, the whole pot um, and the flower grow from that. Um, the other thing you can do apparently is um, put your tuber in soil but keep the crown exposed with the tops of the tubers. These tubers do look a bit wrinkled, but I mean, there's loads of life on there, isn't there? Um, and then as the shoots come off, you um, take those off and grow them on. And apparently that makes better dahlias than growing from the tuber, which seems insane, but that's, that's what Dahlia Farmer Armour says. Um, so yeah, let's give that a go with fancy pants. I think I've got some more fancy pants in the box so um this will be my my practice my experiment one right so i'm just going to very lightly cover this one yeah and keep just lightly firm around the edges but that's it i'm going to keep quite a bit of it exposed exciting right let's label that one Now, this one will stay indoors, um, although I think, gosh, I'm running out of room. I don't know where everything is going to go, to be honest. Oh, well, worry about that later. Now, this box is the Night Queen. How's that for a nice tuber? Look at that. Lovely. And some life there we go okay um i should have a few of these yep there's another one also got life so i think i might do one of these um for shoots as well oh that one i think um because the tubers are quite high whereas like that one they're sort of low down um, so I can keep the tops exposed and there are two little good shoots coming off there. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'll trim this one down as well. just got some sort of little ones and just odd tubers that I'm going to put in tiny pots so it's not to use too much of my compost but to give them a chance. Um, everybody deserves a chance don't they? potted up some on this kitchen counter some in front of me on that kitchen counter 
Our kitchen counter is the place where I'm going to be keeping my dahlias. Well, for now, yes. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think for the next few days, I'm just going to keep them indoors because um, we've got that cold snap come in and I have to find room in the greenhouse to put all of these. Oh, I don't know. I'll think about it another day. It's the 2nd of Feb was when the chilies, aubergines, peppers and onions were sown. The onions have been rather pampered under the grow lights. Um, but it's a, it's a real mixed bag in here, if I'm honest. Um, the aubergines at this side looking a bit wilty and just not very vigorous. Um, there's a few good chilies. The lemon drop are great, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, this early jalapeno one looks good, but the rest, well, uh, one Hungarian hot wax looks okay. My, I, my suspicion is that there are fungus gnats in here and their spawn has been eating the roots of some of these seedlings. That's what I'm thinking. So I want to take them out of this. Um, yeah, they've been in here a long time anyway. Um, there's not much sign of roots underneath. I don't know if there's really time to re-sow chilies now. Um, I think the aubergine should be okay. Well, let's um, let's get them out of the cells and assess the damage. Uh, let's get these onions out first because they can stay in the greenhouse now. Only one little onion in there. <laughs> That's slightly better. I'm going to try and get the aubergines in first um, and then see how many cells I have left of the chilies. I uh, hopefully can get them all in this one tray. Oh, hello worm. Come on. Just remove that one. Dory. Shush. There's the root system. That's an aubergine black beauty. And it looks okay. I guess we hope for the best. Now that one has two. Shall I try and split them? Why not? Oh dear. Oh, there we go. So I'm burying them just a little bit deeper in the hope uh, that that makes um, them sturdy little plants and they're not too leggy. Now this one has a tiny mushroom um, but also has this black leaf um, which is concerning. If anyone knows why that would be. I suspect something to do with the grow lights but the grow lights were quite far away. I mean they weren't like the most useful grow lights in the world.
now that I'm pricking these, well, I'm not pricking them out, I'm potting them on, they do seem a bit better than I thought, actually. So the first um, chilli that looks decent is a uh, chilli early jalapeno. So that can go in. Mm, that's a good one. Let's bury it deep. That's the other jalapeno one, which has the black on as well. Um, not sure whether... Oh, hello, Dory. When did she turn up? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't know what to do with that. Um, maybe I'll put that one to one side for a moment. Uh, now, what I do have good ones of is the lemon chilli drop. And that's the one that I really wanted. So I'm pleased with that. There we go. Beautiful. That one looks a bit nibbled. I'm not sure what it's been in the uh, mini greenhouse inside doing nibbling. Um, but I'm going to give that one a chance. All right, I do have a good um, Hungarian hot wax. Yeah, not bad. So the best of this bunch is probably that Cayenna, but like just. How disappointing. Uh, okay, I'm going for the Cayenna. Kind of got roots. Go on, little Kayana. Prove me wrong. Fight. Right, they're going to go back inside. Shall I do a top dressing of something? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe just some grit. Try not to squish them all with the grit as I put it on. watered from the top um, to settle in uh, the plants but um, I will bottom water from here on out to try and deter any more fungus gnats. It's slightly odd to put um, peppers from single cells then into um, a multi-sown tray but I just I haven't got high hopes for these and this is what's to hand. Do your best. Oh, I think you have an onion. Orange, Portugal, Ring of Fire, and Corno Gallo. Is that right? Oh well. We can always try again next year, can't we? I think it is it a bit late to sow any more chilies now. I could, I guess. I'm not now. I'm tired. I'm done. I'm done for the day. Um, yes, so dahlias potted up, chilies, aubergines, onions and peppers potted on and uh, that is just such a small part of what I need to do 
but oh look at the sun um, nevertheless those were yeah it's nice to tick some things off um, and hopefully after this little cold snap can start getting some momentum going with the clocks do they go back or forward well lighter evenings anyway so right I uh, will leave you thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed please like and subscribe if you haven't already and um, I will leave you with the beauty of the Ranunculus.